is Brett of the Brookbush Institute and in this video we're going to go over special tests for the knee, specifically for the LCL and MCL. These are the valgus and varus stress tests. I'm going to have my friend Melissa come out. She's going to help me demonstrate. Now these valgus and varus stress tests are supposed to try to side bend the knee. And you guys can imagine if I try to side bend the knee, when I side bend it, the side furthest away is going to open up. And of course, that's what these ligaments are supposed to prevent. So if we start with the valgus stress test, the valgus stress test is trying to push her knee this way, which means her medial or inside knee would open up side bending. If I can actually make her knee open up, something's wrong with her MCL, right? That's what her MCL is supposed to be preventing her from doing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a nice lock on her lower leg here to, to do this test. And the reason being is I, number one, want to stabilize the tibia, so I'm going to get this hand around her tibia up close to her knee, but I also want to kind of like stabilize the foot to try to control for tibial internal and external rotation. Otherwise, when I go to press, I end up with all of this stuff, right? Her knee just kind of like flops around on me. So I want to get a nice lock that way, and then I'm going to use this hand on her femur, and I'm going to push this way while bending her tibia towards me, right, to try to open up her medial knee. And I can feel that because if you guys notice, this thumb is right over the joint line. So I'm gonna go like this. I can't get it to open up, but I'm also gonna ask, that hurt? Yes. That actually hurt her a little bit. So although I can't gape her knee, we are positive for maybe some MCL strain or at least some MCL pain here. But we're not done yet. We also have to do this test at 30 degrees. And here's where you better make sure you have good lock on her tibia. Because when you go to press, this is where you get all sorts of like this stuff, which is hip internal rotation, right? I need to make sure I'm locked so that I'm still trying to like side bend her knee. How does that feel? That's still pain too. Okay, so we have pain both in, new, in full extension and pain at 30 degrees. Now why did I do it at full extension and 30 degrees? Well it ends up that when you're fully extended, your strap-like PCL at the back of the knee is totally taut, which holds your tibia plateau against your femoral condyles pretty tightly. And since those are two flat-ish surfaces, it is possible that without an MCL, your PCL by itself will keep your knee from gaping because you have two flat surfaces being pressed against each other. So if I was to get her, M her medial knee to open up here, there's actually a good chance that we don't only have MCL injury, we might have PCL as well. Whereas if we're here, it's probably not here. Like let's say we get negative here, but positive here, then it's probably MCL only. Now she has pain in both and no opening. That actually doesn't tell us much more than it's probably MCL, it could be PCL, it doesn't seem like anything's ruptured. That's what we get from that and I hope you guys follow the logic there. So now let's flip this test around for the LCL and do our various stress test. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sit down on the table. I'm now going to lock her tibia on my other arm here. I got the same kind of setup as I had on this arm. And now I'm gonna push the femur this way, kind of into a knees bow out side bending. I'm gonna put this thumb over her joint line. And I get no opening up. Like there's no, that joint line isn't moving at all. But again, if my goal was to test the LCL, I know in this position that our PCL could be giving us a, a false negative result, right? Her PCL is holding her knee together even though she might not have an LCL. So what am I gonna do? 30 degrees, put a little slack in that PCL, make sure I got good lock because I don't want rotation to mix up my test and make sure I'm just doing side bending. How did those feel? Fine. All right, so those are fine. That's fine. So she's definitely negative for any LCL issues, right? She is positive for some MCL issues though, so that gives us a little indication of some of the stuff that Melissa might have done. Now since she doesn't look like she has a rupture, 
we might start with some physical therapy and see if we can improve her symptoms before I would send her out for any sort of imaging or physician's diagnostic assessment. All right, so just to review real quick, guys, make sure on both of these you lock. Make sure you're doing zero and 30, because at zero degrees, our PCL can fool us. This way, varus, lock, pushing out this way, zero degrees and 30 degrees, because PCL can fool us. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, let me know. Just leave a question in the comments box below.